Hi, guys. How are you doing, Lenny? Oh, I'm wonderfully blessed as always. And so are you. And Miss Iana, nice to see you again. <laughs> you kept your secret from me. <laughs> 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 but my first question, though, goes to Jared. And I wasn't able to talk to you the last time. So I'll ask you, I'll ask it to you now. Did you ever think that love is blind, truly blind, when you sign up to do the show? So, I mean, I, I have my skepticism. You know, I, I did watch season one and... You know, even though even once I got to the end, I was like, there's no way that these people are, are falling in love and getting engaged. But, you know, going into this experiment, I even with me having my skepticism, I had to tell myself that if I wanted to get the most out of this and and truly, you know, find my person that I would have to be open. I would have to be honest. And I would have to be vulnerable. And I, I can stand here or sit here as a testament and say that uh, love is definitely truly blind. And it well, it's it's definitely it's worth it. Right. No, absolutely. Oh, you, by the way, you guys, your your story. I mean, you know, when I watched the finale, I was like, oh, I was. You guys made me cry, <laughs> and that's fantastic. So I could say though, Miss Iana, it's everything that you'd hoped it would be, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I I knew I I knew there was a chance that I would uh, get my heart broken, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the risk, and in the end, it was it was absolutely well worth it. Now I asked you to I asked this question to the other um, couple who got married as well. Um, what do you what do you advise those people that are trying to enter Love is Blind season three contestants, for, for example? I think for me, I would say be vulnerable. I think if you're not vulnerable, you're not gonna get the best out of your connection, the best out of the experience. Um, absolutely be vulnerable and be open-minded. Yeah. I would I would say to just be real with yourself and, and follow your heart. You know, some, sometimes, you know, we, when you're in such, such an intense environment and like you're, you're gonna have a lot of things going on, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. So just, just be real with yourself and just follow your heart. Oh, but now you guys will be living, right? You're living your lives in public now. And that's a lot of pressure. Do you think your love can stand those pressure? Uh, let's, let's start with you, Jared. Oh yeah, I definitely think the the foundation that we we've built is is able to withstand any test, any any stone, any rock that's thrown our way. We'll we'll be able to handle it. I agree. I I mean, I think if we can survive seeing ourselves uh, <laughs> on camera, I think we can survive the rest of it. But yeah, we've set uh, quite a, a solid foundation just um, the past what eight to nine months since mm -hmm. we've been married. So I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Well, you guys are going on a year now. Yeah. Yes. And how is it so far? Oh, it's been it's been it's been challenging, but it's been so rewarding. Yep. I've learned so much about myself and then we've strengthened ourselves as a couple. Um, so I think it's it's been amazing. It's been a, it's been a roller coaster, but I wouldn't want to ride this roller coaster with, with anyone else. What are some of the biggest challenges? Um, I would say finding our balance between our personalities. Um, we have very similar goofiness and, and humor. So that definitely bonds us for sure. We can't ever even have an argument without making a joke. Um, so I think it, it definitely bonds us. And then um, really, it's just like, he's so extroverted and I'm so introverted. I love my alone time and he loves going out and spending time with his friends. Um, so it's just finding the, <laughs> it's finding the balance of like, me going out with him and him staying in with me and then us doing our things uh, together. So, yeah. But that's, but that's the thing though, right? I mean, you know, what started as a social experiment became like, you're just like any ordinary couple. I mean, those co regular couples have those problems, yeah. right? Exactly, exactly. exactly. I think people seem to forget that because we're in the public eye that we're supposed to be this perfect couple, but yeah. we are just like everyone else. Like we, we have problems, we have issues, yeah. but we work through those just like everyone else. So, any baby plans in the future? Um, in like two to three years, maybe. <laughs> okay, two years. In like two years, we're gonna consider having children. It's just like we, so we want to move, and we're we're trying to figure out exactly where. And then once we can figure out on where we want to settle, um, yeah, we'll start thinking about kids. <laughs> oh, you guys are from Chicago, isn't it? Aren't you guys? He's from I'm Chicago. From Chicago. Chicago I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, and where are you guys now? You're in Chicago. Yeah, yes. we live in Chicago now. I love, I'm from originally from Chicago. That's why. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. I love it. Well, I love that you guys are bonding and I love that um, I feel the love from you guys. That's why I think 
don't tell this to anyone, but of all the couples, I like shed a tear of <laughs> joy for you guys. So congrats again and good luck, good luck, good luck on everything, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Aww, thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> <Bye-bye. laughs>